In Element 3D, we can also work with 3D shadows to give it a, it a realistic effect. So let us uh, enable the shadows in Element 3D. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into the scene setup and I'm going to bring in a model. Let's say I'm going to bring in this chest model right here because it has multiple objects. And let me press OK. So it is there in my viewfinder now. I've already arranged the camera so that I get this viewpoint right here. Let me adjust it, readjust it a bit anyway. So I'm going to click and drag this out so that you can see this. But right now you can see that there are no shadows or anything else. So it really looks bland right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new light. So uh, the shadow pops up. So I'm going to go over the new light. I'm going to click on light and over here I'm going to select a parallel light right here. I'm going to select white color so the color stays as it is and I'm going to make sure I select cast shadows and I'm going to press OK. Once you do that you can see that there's a bit of a shadow like effect but there's no shadow um, to talk about uh, like that so there's actually not a real shadow right here. So let me just uh, drag it out. Let me just reposition the light right here. So in real life objects, so the, it, the shadow actually uh, seems to be coming out of the object, but right now there's no shadow. So in order to enable it, I'm going to go over here and inside of the render setting right here, you'll be able to see shadows. So let me just click on this and here you can see that I can enable the shadows. So let me increase this enable the shadows right here and as you do that, you can see that the shadows are visible. So you can either go for ray trace shadows, which comes up with a bit of a sharper shadows right here, or you can go with shadow mapping. So for faster, softer shadows right there. You can also increase the map size for more harsh shadows right here, or for more softer shadows like a square box, as you can see here, you can go for a lower resolution shadow. So let me just increase that out to get the details that I want. You can also increase the shadow samples to make it much smoother. You can increase the blur radius of the shadows to make the shadows look much softer. And you can also increase and decrease the shadow depth right here for much more detail right here. There's also shadow size, so you can increase the size of the shadows right here. You can increase the gamma of the size of the shadow right here. You can see that there's much more shadows now. And you can increase and decrease the blur scale of the shadows right here for a more softer look. And this is a new feature in Element 3D 2.2. In the previous versions, you cannot actually do this. So you can control the shadows as you can see right here. Another type of shadows is ray trace shadows. So it brings up the detail as it is required, but you don't get many options as those. So you get a lot of details right here for smoothing, like eight for much more smoother shadows right here. So usually I like to work with shadow mapping because it's faster and has more shadow uh, controlling options right here. So as you move along the light right here, so as you move along the light, uh, change it into different direction, you can see that the shadow changes as well for a much more dynamic effect. So you can go over here, let me just zoom it in, in and fit it up to 100%. If I were to move around the light, you can see the shadow moves around with it and it looks really good. So let me just create a new light over here. So I'm going to create a new light and I'm going to go into spotlight right here, press OK. And you can see that another shadow actually pops up. So you can adjust around these shadows as well, just like this. You can go around here and adjust those shadows as well. Let me just disable the parallel lightings and you'll be able to see that there's sort of another type of shadow right here. So you can enable multiple lights just like this to control everything out. So that is how you can enable and work with shadows inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.